Hey, baby. How are things at the new place? As for me, I'm watching these white folks with their Bikram yoga mat <laughs> hurry into their apartments before the sunset. <laughs> Child, Brooklyn is gone. <laughs> oh, oh, damn. I'm late for work. I'll call you back, baby. Hello. And thank you for zooming in today. Welcome to Ms. Mystique's Mediations, Mediums, and Meditations. The prophetic ebony psychic, providing a whole holistic behind service for a whole you. I supply the answers to your deepest questions from the comfort of your own home. Yes, if you're here, that means you need Ms. Mystique to make it clear. Remember, the Crystals and Jimmy Baldwin never lie. Oh, I see you're using your Melanin March discount codes for today's session. Now, as usual, I will call on you for our one-on-ones from the breakout rooms. See you soon. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello there, hon. Oh, don't tell me. Your name is Danielle? Oh, it's Delilah. Oh, 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 it says it right there on the screen. So let's get to it. Oh, don't cry. Slow down. Slow down. What do you want to meditate on? Stress relief? Okay, mm -hmm. so you're an artistic director of a theater and you don't understand why your black artists want to resign. Mm -hmm. This is causing you high levels of stress and the feeling of overwhelm. Okay, go on. Everyone is sensitive and everything is polarizing. You say you jokingly called black actors intimidating thugs and sassy sisters. Huh. When white people are battle hemming of the Republic on the Capitol? Okay. But you've posted a square. You stood, oh, oh, you're still standing in solidarity. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Go on. Hmm. Have you hired any black professionals to your staff? Oh, okay, an associate director. Who are they associating with? Oh, my bad, this is your session, okay. You have added two August Wilson plays to the upcoming season and you took all of your six black friends to brunch on Juneteenth and then to the polls in November to vote for Kamala. Got it. Okay. Anything else you want to add before we meditate? Sorry, go ahead. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And as a queer white woman, you understand margin. Okay. Okay. So now let's close our eyes and hum. Close, yeah, close your eyes. Chant with me. Just because I am a white queer woman doesn't mean I lack proximity to power and privilege. I clearly didn't read white fragility. Oh, close, okay. August isn't the sole answer to blackness on stage, especially when only produced in February. I don't see you breathing, Delilah. Hum, hum. Close your 
calling black actors stereotypical language, pigeonholes them and brutalizes and kills black people in real life. Now, meditate on that. And remember that tomorrow is Wallet Wednesday. Pay your six black friends. And remember, tip Jimmy Baldwin. <laughs> Thank you. Next. Oh, hi there. Oh, so lovely, a couple. Yes, what can Miss Mystique help you with? Oh, a dispute about baby names. <gasps> Triplets. Oh, oh, well, it seems like you have been sheltering in a couple of places. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, now what are the options for the names? Pan, Dam, and Mick. Pandemic. Oh, mm -mm. No, no, no. Next. Pandemic. Welcome to Ms. Mystique's. And you are Mr. Ryan. Oh, I see you are receiving a message from someone on the other side. Well, let's see if we can make contact. Hmm. Hmm. I'm seeing a handsome man. He's a young man. This was a close relationship an intimate one, an engagement. Am I in the ballpark? Oh, good. Huh. Now, you say the spirit's name is Jordan Arnold. Jordan Arnold? You know that name no no how do you know that name and you have a message from him for monica simone okay you know what no 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 okay i don't know what kind of game you think you're playing but you about to get the hell up out of my zoom oh yes you are yeah hey he says it's okay he's okay in the new place <gasps> jordan Forgive myself. I said it was just the flu. And I didn't think. I didn't think. I, I just didn't think. We were healthy and, and young. And in 14 days, we would be back to our virtual game nights and Bible studies. And I lost him on day 10. August 28th. My heart stopped beating. August 28th was the last day I left the house. Because if I go outside, there's, there's, there's all this white noise and, and the noise, the noise is too much. It's just too real. So I just, I just sit on my balcony watching the white folks doing yoga and skating, living their lives yearning for the day to go outside when it doesn't feel like I'm entering Armageddon or, or like it's an act of betrayal. A month later, I pivoted into Miss Mystique because she had all the answers and Monica didn't. <clears throat> There's this devastating distance between who I was and where I want to be. 
I wish I could annihilate. It's a it's a Lazarus and enrichment like gulf in the soul of my heart. And I just don't know how to bridge it. Sleep invades me. And, and I find myself dancing into a twilight of exhaustion. 12 months ago, we were in this together. And I had you, your smile, your laughter, your stupid jokes, your demons cuddling with mine, your arms enfolding me when this city, this country, this earth became too much, just too ghetto. My refuge my hiding place where the world couldn't get me. You kissed me, you danced me to the Spanish guitar of your lips and I laid on your chest, hearing your heartbeat until it didn't. How does the heart of a 35 year old just stop beating? Now it's just time for me to move on. Go back to normal. I know. I know you would have these beautiful, beautiful words of wisdom, of scripture to motivate me, Jordan. I still believe in God. I still believe in God. And I, and I know how great is his faithfulness. I have seen it. I have experienced it but I just need a little more time. But there is no going back to normal time. Hell, normal wasn't working out for anyone before. If anything, this, whatever this space is, is freaking abnormal. What's normal about a world where a haircut and highlights are more important than brown people's lives? And the insidious language of proceed only when you're ready or when you're comfortable. Wooden nickel wives' tails, an invisible hand pushing you to the in inevitable fact that, that life has moved on without you. So figure this out because it's one year later and we have places to go and money to make and dining to dine and theater to watch and vacations to book. We all have to reinvent and I have tried to pivot and pivot and pivot and pivot. And, and I've become more machine than human. We all will lose something and someone. But I lost you. I lost you. And I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to go back. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm sorry, Ryan. Today's session is over. And I thank you. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just sorry. Hey baby, it's me again. I miss you, Jordan. Essential. Why not? So yeah.